Hello Liberty! Welcome back to Liberty Skylines with me, the Skyline Libertarian. So when I was recording this video I made a boo-boo and I did not record audio. So I'm going to be voiceovering this whole thing. Um, luckily I made some notes so we do have that to go off of. I actually decided to be a little more organized going forward so that'll that'll help us here. So. In this video, we are going to finally put a firehouse in our industry. We are going to relocate our police out of the residential into our main rectangle square. We're going to relocate that bad forestry idea I had because it's not working. And we're going to build a new forestry area. We're going to build a coal area in that same general vicinity. And then we are going to build more of our tiny road commercial areas. We're going to connect some residential areas, upgrade the road network, and start off on a citywide walking path infrastructure. And as we go out throughout the video, we're going to decorate um, with the rocks in the road, and that will help us build up money. And hopefully by the end, we will be able to get a unique building to put in. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing is first, let us get a firehouse put into our industry. Stick it right over here right now head over here and grab our police station stick it over on our town square town center town rectangle whatever you want to call it all right now let's head down here and check out our budget what we're spending on police um looks like i have 480 written down uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna enact the recreational use citywide policy, the recreational use policy citywide, and I am going to check my budget afterwards uh, because it does say in there that it's going to be a 15% increase to your police budget. Now that doesn't correspond to exactly decreasing at 15% and I do all the math and I figured it out and I believe we're going to end up around 90%. Um, budget which gives us good range still for our police station but doesn't overdo the money I get it right around 490 so I'm basically spending 10 bucks total per week to enact this legislation or this policy so let's go build an industry area I'm gonna run up here and build a forestry on the left and rework the road a little bit into the farm area and then do all the zoning. Now I think I go looking for waffle houses. So let's see how many we find. None over here, I don't think. Pretty sure there's none over here. Nope, just our original one there, still marked as historic. And it looks like Penny's did upgrade. It is something. <laughs> Maybe stuck halfway through construction. It looks like scaffolding to me almost. But Whatever, at least the pennies is gone. And let's go put in ore. So I'm going to remove that road and put a new one. And out of where that old road into the farming was, I'm going to build a very odd looking ore industry for lack of space. And then I'm gonna zone it. I'm, well, I'm gonna, you're gonna see me look at my import export tab uh, and then I'm gonna zone it. And then we'll have a little discussion about imports and exports. Well, I lied. I just created a, a district. So, generic industry, which is down on the bottom right there, is your good producer. All the other specializations 
will send what they make there over to your generic industry. As you see here, green is green is forestry, the blue is or the black is oil, and orange would be agriculture, which is right up there. Um, you'll see they're actually importing, exporting a little bit in there. It takes a while for the whole production cycle to catch up, uh, but you want to make sure that your ore, even if you're not built on somewhere where there's natural resources, get a little bit in there so that all your imports go directly there. And then from that spot, they go out to your generic industry. So you're not having imports going all over the city. It goes straight in and then you can push it out from there. And um, that is the reason that I put my ore industry where I did. And as you see, they are exporting. All of my industry is exporting mass amounts of goods out of the city, which means we need more commercial. So that is the reasoning behind the ore over here and why it looks so weird. So now let's uh, turn it into an ore zone and let's zone it. And water and power. And unlike in previous episodes, I was really good about making sure everybody had water and power all throughout this episode. Go me! Now it's time for an awesome little decoration time lapse. Enjoy, my friends. I sure like that last little bit. That was pretty cool watching the trees pop in like that. All right, so let us get some views of this here. That's pretty nice there. I like that. Those rocks out there, those are pretty good right off the main road. Very, very cool. Let us grab a car and follow along. I believe her name is Mary. All right, Mary, take us on a ride. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we did a pretty good job there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and we're going to build in some more commercial. We're gonna upgrade a bunch of roads. We're gonna connect our residential areas, the new ones that we just built and the old ones. I will do some zoning in here. I'm gonna upgrade that main road as well as both of the collectors and then we're going to put in some paths and I will be back with you when we go and see if we have enough money to put in a unique, a unique building or not. So see you on the other side.
And Pancakes International has joined the war. Oh yeah, I found a little truck, and so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and put it over by the cemetery. And let's get a unique building in. We could totally do one of these plazas, but I want something with a little bit higher entertainment. So let's check over here. I'm looking at the purple at all the entertainment values and I'm also checking prices and let's do the model of moderation I think that's gonna give us the highest value for our money in a smaller area um, and I'm going to end up taking these pads out because this is really one of the only places for it to go. I kind of made it for it for a unique building anyways, so let's let's just get it in there. And as I said, it's got nowhere else to go. So I'll redo those paths, but put it in already, Skyline Libertarian. There we go. And actually, we got enough money. Let's go ahead and put this Lazarette Plaza in. Um, over here by the park. Without taking off the walking path. There we go. And a little bit more decoration, and I think we will call it good. Alright, isn't that a gorgeous little town square right there? Town rectangle, city center. <laughs> Alright, so in this video we got our firehouse and our industry, finally, after three videos. We relocated our police, we changed my bad forestry idea, built some new forestry, built a coal area, we got in some more of our tiny road commercials, we connected our residential areas, our old ones and our new ones, we got some zoning put down and we have a nice little path infrastructure set up and I never did go in on the video during this video and change the path that we took out with that model of moderation but off camera right after I finished this I went ahead and did it I thought I had it captured but I did not so that did happen it will be there when we get back 
Um, and we got a lazarette process ahead, so we'll be bringing in tourists now, making some more money. So until the next video, stay free, my friends.